of my beauty bunnies. My Beautylish Lucky Bag is here. I wanted to go ahead and share the unboxing with you. By the way, I did just do this unboxing on Facebook Live also. Check me out on social media. It's Yay Renee Nicole everywhere. Instagram, Twitter, Periscope, Facebook, all that. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel here if you want notifications when I have other videos come out. So we're going to take a look at this box and then the box that my daughter got. And I will also be popping in what my niece in Sacramento got. She uh, also ordered a Beautylish uh, Lucky Bag. So we all got the regular bag. It's $75. Beautylish does this one time per year and they do it the day after Christmas. That's when you can order it. You can right now sign up and put your um, email address in and they will notify you next year and tell you the time. It was 11 a.m. Pacific time, day after Christmas this year when we were able to sign up. But they threw a little clinker in. If you had spent $1,000 or more at Beautylish, you were able to have earlier access. I'm not sure exactly when their access was because I didn't have it. My friend Veronica had it. I should have asked her. She um, got the extra large, which is $150 and is guaranteed to have $300 or more of product in it. Hers had over $400 of product in it. One item was the Natasha Denona, the big palette. Uh, that's $200, I think $35 or something. But anyhow, I digress. So we're going to go ahead and look at this one now. I've gotten this now two years my second or third one? I think this is my second one, yeah. Um, but anyhow, let's take a look and when you open it up, it's beautifully wrapped. Now again, I already opened this. There's a little tag here talking about the lucky bag and it's a Japanese tradition and you know, why they do it and you know, their owl is their symbol this year. And um, actually last year was a cat. Let me look, wait, let me, that little tag has to be floating around here somewhere that says exactly, okay, this is a little tag. Um, and it says, lucky bags are Japanese tradition inspired, that inspired us to create our own. The owl on this year's lucky bag is said to bring luck and good fortune in Japanese culture. We hope the surprises inside fill your new year with luck, happiness, and beauty. So make sure to go to their website now because you can sign up for the bag, you know, to have access to it next year. They'll shoot you an email and you know when you can sign up. It was 11 a.m. Pacific time this year. And again, I don't know when the XL people had their access. Then they have pretty wrapping on top. Again, it's not as pretty as it was because I've already opened this. And then when you remove this part, each of the items was wrapped in a uh, you know little piece of black uh, tissue paper also. Now the uh, first item is this palette, and this is oh, it writes in it, yes. It is the uh, Makeup Atelier uh, Paris, and I really wanted one of these. I saw it when I was at the makeup show in uh, San Francisco. They had a pop-up show there, and it's a really lovely palette, and they were raving about the quality of it. And uh, we can go ahead and take a quick look at it here and I can swatch it for you really quickly. Um, it is very, very nice. I, I really cannot wait to use it, and the colors are nice and neutral in here. I know some people received like brighter color ones, you know, and Natasha Denona, little small palettes, and that would've been kind of fun to have too, but you know, this is great for kind of every day. So those look like they're going to be absolutely lovely. And from everything that I've heard about this brand, they have really, really nice quality shadows. So I'm looking very forward to having that. And I'll get into the costs of all this as soon as we're all through. Uh, I also got a Jouer Longwear Lip Cream. These I know are $18 each. And this is the color Lychee. And I'll just go ahead and I'll swatch this here on my wrist so you can take a look at that. So it's a very pretty, kind of a mauvey pinky color, um, which is right up my alley, so I will definitely wear this. And then I also, I was really excited to get this. This is the It Cosmetics, it's the Confidence in a Cream Transforming Moisturizing Super Cream. And um, I like It Cosmetics products, and I really like a rich moisturizer, so I'm really looking forward to using this. And this is two ounces also, so just a nice rich cream that has a very light, fresh fragrance. Uh, almost a touch of, a hint of lemon, kind of. I'm, I'm not quite sure what it is. So this is the uh, consistency. i put it on my finger like that. <laughs> on my fingertips. So, let's see. Oh, very silky, very nice feeling cream. And I'm not looking greasy or anything. Sorry about my fingernails, you guys. They're just a disaster. Uh, <laughs> after the holidays, we've been doing a lot of house stuff and they're just a mess. I'm trying to decide if I should try to get the gel nails. My neighbor has them and they look so great on her, but I don't know if I'm ready to commit. I also got this Wayne Goss brush. And this is the number, what were you, what number? It's on here so faintly. I think it said it was the number three. 
no, number two, the number two brush. So this is nice. I don't have this one, so I'm very happy to have it. And it's super, super soft. This will be lovely for contour. Actually, this will be awesome for highlight too. And then I got this dry shampoo. It's the uh, dry texturizing sh spray, not dry shampoo. Okay, and then we also have the clean brush shampoo. And uh, this is just a very, you know, natural kind of a bit of a hint of rose smell, I guess, to it is what I'm smelling here. And uh, that's it because some people get gift cards in theirs, but I kind of dug around down here and nope, no gift card in here. I double check. This paper is reusable. It makes lovely wrapping paper. Um, if you look at it, I think that's maybe what it originally was because it's like a real sheet like this. So I saved mine from last year to use this wrapping paper and I'll do the same with this. Now, for my daughter's box, the other box, guess what? Exactly the same. 100% exactly the same. So that's good because it's all neutrals and stuff. I wish she'd use the moisturizer. She really needs to moisturize, but she doesn't ever want to. The texturizing spray is $22. The long wear lip cream is $18. The brush shampoo is $15. The cosmetics confidence in the cream is $48. The Wayne Goss brush is $35. And the makeup atelier palette um, shadow was $35. So the total value of this was $173. So, you know, I did got more than double and really, of these items, I know you can sometimes get the Jouer for a discount. Um, you can often get the um, It Cosmetics maybe 20% off or so, but the other stuff really doesn't go on sale. So I'm really happy with the value of this bag. It was about 170, I think $173. I believe my total cost on this with shipping and everything was around like 80, $85. And I mean, I got really nice things, all usable, all wearable. It doesn't seem like they were getting rid of, you know, overstock of things that weren't selling. I mean, this, this all, looks like really great stuff that, you know, I actually would have bought and I got a wing cost brush, yay. Um, and brush cleaner you can always use. So I think overall it's really good. And again, you know, my daughter will also be able to use all of this, you know, that she got in hers. I can't wait to show you what my niece get, got. My niece received the same brush cleaner that I have, a Wayne Goss number no. six eye brush, a Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette, the Becca Afterglow palette, an RCMA No Color Powder, the It Cosmetics Brow Power Eyebrow Pencil, and an Oribe Dry Shampoo. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great dear evening wherever you are. Oh God, okay, like I have never done this before. I, I totally put it in the wrong spot. L let me redo that.